Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Magical March love reading. Shout out to all of the beautiful Scorpios of the world. The sun is shining on you for real, for real. You see, the sun is always shining on you, Scorpio. So I greet you in the sun energy. I hope this video finds you guys absolutely amazing. Uh, if you are returning, shout out to you, Scorpios. Thank you for coming back to this channel. If you are new, welcome. I am Brown Eyes here at Brown Eyes Intuitions, and it's all about the Scorpios over here. And if you're into uh, general readings, check out my other channel at Truth Revealer 3363 for uh, collective readings, okay? So shout out to my beautiful, amazing Scorpio family, my Scorpio family members over there on Patreon. All of you Scorpios who are subscribed, who leave me high vibrational comments, who show love in any and every way that you do, Thank you. Okay. So this is a general Scorpio. It's not going to resonate for everybody. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest Scorpio. So I think today high is 70 something degrees, but it's like 40 something, 50 something. But it's so windy outside. It's very, very windy and it's chilly in the morning, but it eventually warms up. So let's see Scorpio. Like I say, your overall energy is the sun. It says, open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. You got some growth coming ahead. Angel, goals. Hold on, y'all. I got my little, my little uh, ear pods. So you are protected. Wait a minute, y'all. Okay. Because it says your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. And then you have goals. It says progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. But let's focus on your sun energy because this is your overall energy. This is what it's all about. It's about the enormous growth ahead because we know the sun. You could have a Leo of some, some significance in your life right now. But we know the sun brings a lot of growth here. So, you know, this pertains to growth overall in your life. It says the sun card will bring great joy in your life, Scorpios. You can expect to be happier, uh, more fun loving and self-confident. The sun basically shines on your life and personal growth speeds up immensely. This card also enhances creative thinking and you will be able to open up your feelings and communicate uh, better than in the past. So the time is right, Scorpio, for taking holidays too. So go and book that cruise, overseas trip, or romantic getaway, yeah. It's time for you to get away on a romantic trip with love, okay? So it says for singles, searching for love is very possible. You will find a brand new relationship that will be fulfilling and exactly what you are looking for. Those in existing relationships could... Uh, reignite the passion and rifts from the past could finally be forgiven. There is enormous growth for married couples seeing each other in a fresh light. Great accomplishments surround difficult relationships with friends or family members. This is a truly wonderful time for those feeling a little lost or lonely to join local clubs. Uh, sporting activities or even charitable functions because it is certain you will find like-minded people to form firm friendships with. You could find yourself in the spotlight with all these blissful energies. So you got the light on you, Scorpio. See there? You are being, you are being illuminated. You are being singled out. You are under the most high spotlight here. Okay, so the spotlight... For this season is Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Leo too. So it says kicking a goal on the work front makes others proud. This is a great card if you are looking for a new job, Scorpio. It can be just around the corner and the money being offered is a lot better than usual. Now is also an ideal time to start a small business or learn different skills. Okay, so the sun card is, and I could tell too, it's bringing, look, the, the sun card is bringing in a lot of enormous growth overall in your life. It ain't just your love life. It's everything. Because see, overall energy is, is that the three? 
Three of Pentacles. See, there it is right there with the Queen of Cups. See that, Scorpio? You got something coming. Queen of Cups. Ooh. Look at here. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> And look at the next card, Scorpio. Amazing. Amazing. Scorpio, you so amazing. See, look at there. That's that Empress, baby. See there? See? Ooh, amazing. Scorpio, you so amazing. And look underneath the bottom of my clarifiers. You got the Queen of Cups. So there's a lot of love here. Ooh, but you got that Devil card right behind the Queen of Cups. Oh, some of y'all need to let go of something. I see the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. <laughs> Look now. All right, what's going on? So some type of partnership. Someone here could, could be admiring you. Oh, and there go the freaking Knight of Cups. Somebody could be admiring your skills. Somebody could be admiring your, your glow, your, ner your love. The way you carry yourself. Someone could be coming in with some type of proposition. The world. Someone could be checking you out online from a distance. What's up for Scorpios? Came on back out anyway. Knight of Cups. Amazing. Yeah. Knight of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Something is about to grow for you, or something has been growing. You, you're saying that you're about to see the. Because you not only do you have the Sun card, you have the Empress. We know how the Empress gets down. Look at all this fertility. Look at all this growth around you. Let's see, is she covered up? Make sure she got her stuff on. Y'all already know. So she's covered up with her baby. See? Look at all this love and all this nurturing energy. See? Look at that. See there? See there? Everything is coupled up. See? See there? Everybody has somebody. Everybody is under your, your umbrella of love. It's time for you to get love back because you've been giving out a whole lot. It's like, look, look at you. Look, look how you're surrounded. You're surrounded by... Uh, loving, connecting energy, Scorpio. That's what it's about. Look at all this growth. Your energy inspires growth. So don't get caught up in the hype, Scorpio. Don't don't get caught up on what you feel like you don't have. Because you got the sun, honey. With that empress, she's fertile. Her, her, you remember your last reading was, ooh, now look at here. It just got interesting. The lovers. Look at that. I told you, pair it up. It's pair it up time. See, everybody got somebody. It's time for Scorpio to have somebody. See, the Empress, the Empress been taking care of everybody else. It's time for somebody to take care of Scorpio. That's why you got that Queen of Cups there. I see the Ace of Swords. I see the Page of Cups, the Eight of Wands. So you could receive some type of communication from somebody. Maybe somebody's been checking you out. It could be a Libra, could be a, a Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Le uh, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Ooh, this just flopped out. Take it. There go the tower card. <laughs> Ooh, and there go a king of pentacles. I'm so tired of seeing these. Y'all know I've been seeing a lot of infidelity readings. I've been seeing a lot of that here with these readings. Almost like somebody's attached to you or you may be attached to somebody here with a third party situation. Because with this lover's card, yeah, there is a strong spiritual attraction, a, a connection, but it's also choices. You know what I'm saying? It's about usually there's there's two paths up ahead with the uh, lover's card, but also not choosing someone is making a choice, isn't it? King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Swords. For some of y'all, somebody on your job is checking you out, Scorpios. They go to Page of Swords. They go to Eight of Pentacles and they go to King of Pentacles. Mm -mm. So don't be, don't, some of y'all probably already know this. Y'all know somebody on y'all job checking y'all out. Could be a boss. 
or it could just be a boss that's checking you out, but it could be on your job. You got the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. It could be a boss that's trying to figure out how can they come up. Look, with this ace of pentacles, look. So you got an opportunity here, though. Uh, 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 oh, uh, oh. Uh. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. For some of y'all, y'all may have this boss trying to come in y'all life, and they probably going to try to shower you with gifts. Because we know how that King of Pentacles, ooh. Oh, baby. They go to freaking Ten of Pentacles. All these queens. Ace of Wands. So it could be that you're going through a major transformation in your life, Scorpio. But I feel like ultimately you're going through all these transformations just so you can get back to love. Get back to a place where you can love. Open up your heart and trust it. Because we're dealing with an empress. We're dealing with an empress, a ten of pentacles. You know the empress is already abundant. But it's almost like you're about to be abundant in some type of connection perhaps. Oof. There goes some air energy. The world is underneath the bottom with the Knight of Pentacles and the Fool and Justice. This thing keep on falling out my ear, y'all. Hold on, let me straighten it up, y'all. All right, y'all. So you have the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, honey. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You have the Knight of Cups, the Tower, Scorpios, the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You have uh, the Lovers, the Empress, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. You have uh, Gemini and Libra here. So you have water, earth, and a little air. Underneath the bottom, you could be dealing with the fixed sign with the world. Like I say, your overall energy is the Queen of Cups. Followed by the devil. Remember, you got the devil right up on that queen of cups. Is this y'all in y'all head? Or you got some type of temptation coming your way that you probably don't want to be bothered with? Ooh, Scorpio, I hope that's not it. Eight of cups, page of pentacles. You got something coming in, but somebody on you or you on somebody. Mm. Why is the three of pentacles here, y'all? Slipping out again. Uh, three of pentacles towards Virgo or Capricorn. Why is the three of pentacles here for Scorpios? Towards Virgo and Capricorn. Clarify three of Pentacles. Putting in that work. Trying to build some type of partnership with you. You could be focused on your job or you could be surrounded. You could be surrounded by. Um, now I feel like you got a lot of admiration coming at you, Scorpio. Because with this Queen of Cups next to this Empress, there go Justice. And the Nine of Cups. And the Knight of Wands. And the sun, baby. So the three of pentacles here could be something you could have some type of collaboration, some type of partnership coming your way. So even some type of contract that's going to bring a lot of happiness to you. Now, it could be with somebody because it could be somebody rushing in passionately to offer you something that's going to bring. Ooh, look. See? Wow, Scorpio. Wow. Could be a Leo. You got this Ace of Cups. So now you got the Ace of Cups twice. The Sun card twice. So once again, this is confirmation that you should expect enormous growth in your life. Not just in your love life, baby, but everything. Because you got it. So what's up with this Queen of Cups for Scorpios? Why is the Queen of Cups here? What's going on with this? Hmm. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. I think water and earth go, is, I feel like water and earth, but I also feel like water and water can, can, can do good together too, all right? So let me stop this. So you ain't gonna act right. So I just feel like water and some waters and earth can do good. Now, you know, uh, Scorpio and Taurus, you guys are opposites. So it's like, and then plus that Taurus is a fixed sign too. But you know, I feel like those earth signs, to me, from what my experience, the Taurus is here. Could be, could be Capricorn too. But I found that the Taurus really are good providers. They do work as a family unit. They're the providers. It's like they, they have that, that 
queen of pentacles, king of pentacles energy to me. I, I, sometimes I feel like I associate the king of pentacles with Capricorn because you got that boss energy you got that, you got that energy with it too. And if you're not balanced, it can be um, mishandled and kind of toxic here. But I do see earth energy in here. I feel like that there is commitments. There's commitments here. There's contracts here, Scorpio. The sun card is bringing new opportunities to, especially with the three of pentacles. Like, like I feel like somebody is coming to you with a heck of an opportunity that's going to bring a lot of abundance and an enormous growth because you got the sun card. Could be a Leo or a Libra rushing in with some type of proposition or some good it could be somebody coming to you with some type of work opportunity and y'all end up creating some type of love thing okay because you got the queen of cups and the hierophant it could be you may have to travel someone could ooh, whew. for some of y'all all right what's up with this queen of cups you could be dealing with the uh, air sign so um commitment Values. It could be somebody could be looking at you like you, you, you are old school. You're traditional. You, you have val traditional values and morals about yourself. You have ethics. See, because they're going to three of pentacles again. See, so someone is checking you out, Scorpio. Somebody is checking you out. Somebody's checking out the way you move, the way you talk, the way you carry yourself. Because you got the three of pentacles twice. See, two of ones. It's almost like somebody is looking at you like you could possibly be someone that they could trust. OK, two of ones. This is someone here who is from a distance, who is looking ahead, who is trying to figure out because you got the lover's card. Um, can do I see Scorpio this way? I feel like somebody sees you this way because you got the freaking Empress. It's almost like somebody has studied you and sized you up. It could be somebody that, you know. Or it could just could be somebody that's in your circle that has been observing you for a while and you have not noticed it. It could actually be somebody even on your job who has watched you, has studied you, has sized you up. And somebody's looking at you like you're safe. Something about your energy is kind of safe to them or something that they can trust enough to build something with. Because you got the 10, honey. So why is the Queen of Cups here for Scorpios? It's time for a relationship. See, I told you, see, I told you somebody is looking at you with this hierophant like you are the type of energy that they can uh, build something with. So it's, it's almost like you be surprised who is watching you, even when you don't feel like they should be or why. And I ain't talking about no bad because, you know, you got the evil watching, too. But you also got that high vibrational good energy that's observing you. Now, with that queen of cups and that devil, it could be somebody in high position of some type of high position of power. Or there could be some type of obsession with you because you got the empress twice, queen of, queen of cups twice. Page of Cups. I feel like you have an admirer here that has been watching you for a while. And they actually feel like you are someone you, you still, it's almost like you, you, you have not followed uh, society. It's almost like, you know, they don't make them like that anymore. I just heard they don't make them like that anymore. So someone could be looking at you like, you know, they don't make them like that no more. I, I need a good old wholesome person here who, rem who, who still believes in um, the, 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 the traditions, you know, maybe they grew up around, uh, maybe what they're used to. So you got this Empress Libra Taurus. What's going on with this Empress here? Now we know how this Empress is. She's fertile. Could be somebody here who was looking at, looking for someone to build a family with. See, they go to Ace of Cups again. See, you got all this love around. Y'all got so many. You remember with this Empress, and the sun card showing up twice. It's you got multi. You got you got double action of of growth. Ooh, now look at here. Oh my goodness, y'all. See there. Well, it is what it is. I don't know if you know them or not. I'm just telling you what the cards say. You got the Empress with the Ace of Cups. And the king of cups now. 
For some of y'all, you're dealing with a water sign, a water sign that ain't got over you, a water sign that's from your past or a person who feels like they've known you forever. You may have a water sign that swears that you're the one like like they just cannot get over this connection. It's almost like somebody here who has been around you or someone wants to know you in their mind. You guys may somebody may feel like you're the one. I mean, just point blank period. And it could be that this person is so, so sincere and so convinced that you're the one that they're not going to easily be able to get rid of. It could be somebody trying to come back in from your past. To, you know what I'm saying? Fight for this connection. Put more of an effort. See, they go to somebody. Somebody somebody wants to prove something to you. See? Seven of swords in the reverse and the ten of pentacles. I feel like somebody want to prove to you that they can be what you want them to be. And I, I've, seen this, I've seen this energy a couple of times. And now it's showing up again. So it's almost like somebody wants to prove, show you that I'm not what you think I am. I can be the person you want me to be, perhaps. Or it's almost like somebody wants to come back and prove something to you, Scorpio, is what I feel. For some of y'all, if it's somebody actually from your past, and for others, it's somebody here with the King of Pentacles, I mean, the King of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Empress. You got the Empress over here with the Queen of Cups. Somebody's rushing in to offer you something here. Now, it could just be somebody who, who has studied you and watched you for a while and you can't tell them that you ain't the one for them. They feel like you are. And I feel like somebody's going to come in here and proposition you, Scorpio. Offer you something major or proposition. Take it how you feel like it is. I do. I feel like somebody's coming in. And for some of y'all, it's going to be good. You're going to feel like it's good because you have the sun card here twice. You have the nine of cups with the justice card as well as the Ace of Cups twice, excuse me, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And the Lovers. So it's deep. Whatever this is y'all got going on, it's truly deep. But there is, a, there is an opportunity for things to grow. Or Spirit could be letting you know that things are about to grow. So let's see. So let's check out this Knight of Cups. What's up with the, now the Tower? So like I said, you may not see this coming here because I got the sniffles. Don't come for me. Like I say, it's cold at night and then it's bad time in the daytime. It gets warm. For some of y'all, it could very well be your boss or somebody that you're working with. Somebody's in love or somebody wants love. And as passionate as they are, they're rushing into you. Oh, yeah, they got they got their their their. Uh, um, they have the desire to move things forward with you. So why is the Knight of Cups here for Scorpios? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What's up with this Knight of Cups for Scorpios? You got the Six of Cups, King of Cups, Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Hold on, y'all. Okay. This tower card is something that you don't see. I feel like y'all don't see. See, they look, there it is again. It just keep on coming up. That queen of cups right next to that devil. Oh, Scorpios, what's going on? You got a Capricorn on your trails? You, you got that? Look, Some, something that y'all do not see coming. So let's see why is the tower here. For Scorpios, clarify the tower. Could be another Scorpio. It could be a, a, a tycoon, a billionaire. And you like, are you sure it's so me? You mean me? Not them, not me. You tell me you finna give me all this ten pentacle me. <laughs> Don't come for me. I'm just saying. You think how you wanna think, I'ma think how I think, okay? Cause I think big. They're like, yeah, little mama, I see you doing your thing, and I feel like you good. I feel like you justice, and I feel like you deserve every good thing. So you know what? What's your bank account number? Let me go and drop these zeros on 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 zeros in your life. It could happen. Look, they go to eight of one. Something about to take off. Is somebody finna surprise you with some type of communication? Eight of ones. Ooh, I saw the five of ones. It could also represent with that Queen of Cups and the Devil card that someone is heavy on you, but somebody is heavy on the person who is on you. 
It's almost like wherever somebody's attention follows and their attention could be on you. If their attention is following you, then whoever attention is on them is now on you. For some of y'all. The tower here. Could get an unexpected call here out of nowhere. You don't see this coming. See the will of fortune. Page of Pentacles. Out of nowhere, something is about to change. Because it's destined, it's fate, it's good karma. You remember you got the sun. Could be dealing with a fixed sign, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, to oh, there go that devil card again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take him and keep coming out. There go the chariot. You see that king of cups over there with the chariot. Ooh. Some of y'all, it's your person from the past, see? Two of Cups, Page of Wands, and the Four of Wands. That's who coming. Don't come for me. I can't help it because they coming back with they. I don't know if they obsessed over you. I'm going to have to say that they're obsessed over you because you got the devil next to the chariot. Or maybe they're having to break free from something else. Maybe, look, man. One thing we can be certain is that this experience is going to give us lessons after lessons after freaking lessons, okay? Without, with our free will here, we can choose what we allow or what we don't want. It's the same thing with people, situations. You can disconnect. But the thing about the lessons is that when you're not learning your lessons, you can leave a situation, but you're going to run right back into that same energy. You can't escape it because you're missing out on the lesson. So that means you'll keep repeating things. It's almost like, especially as this empress, y'all going to have to stand up to somebody or face something. Or maybe they're going to have to do it. Because I see the king of, but there go the king of Pentacles, see? For some of y'all, y'all dealing with the emperor or y'all dealing with a person here. Ten of Pentacles got a lot going on. This could be a, a boss. This could be a, 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 a wealthy, wealthy boss, a wealthy f feminine male. It don't matter. For you masculine, it could be the same thing. Some of you guys, you may have this bougie chick here where you just want this person, but you feel like they're, you know, they're unattainable. For you masculines, you could very well have somebody trying to come back to you from your past or someone from your childhood. Could be a twin flame soulmate connection. But with that devil card and that chariot card, somebody's overcoming something in order to come to you. I right? And that's on point blank period. Now, what's up with this Knight of Cups for my Scorpios? What's up with the Knight of Cups? You have uh, fixed energy. You got Capricorn. You got Earth energy. You got water energy. Knight of Cups, somebody's a hopeless romantic. Somebody's looking for love. I just saw that, that Five of Cups again. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Like you remember the Sun card talks about, it talks about, Things that have been stuck and irritating, uh, things are going to start uh, clearing out the bad energy and revitalizing old relationships. It's almost like something that was once gone and done away with the sun is rebirth. The sun is bringing light to situations for some of y'all, because for some of y'all, you're going to meet new relationships. The sun card also represents this is a good time to join social clubs because when you join those things, then it's opening up the door to create or to uh, grow e even friendships. Friendships are going to grow. You got the three of pentacles twice. For some of y'all, you could very well have a boss coming in from your past that is into you. Could have been somebody you was You could have been messing with your boss here and, and you had to leave it alone because it was toxic. They're going to try to come back, but. For some of y'all, it is a workplace that you work with and your boss just cannot seem to keep themselves to themselves. And this could be somebody here who got a whole nother situation going on here too, Scorpio. So let's see. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Somebody look, don't be coming to Scorpio trying to offer your cup of love and you already got stuff going on. You dealing with the Empress person. Page of Wands. For some of y'all, it's a Scorpio that go death. So I feel like this is a resurrection. Somebody wants to have a rebirth. They go to Six of Swords. What's up with this Knight of Cups with this Page of Wands? For Scorpio. Ooh, now look at here. 
King of Swords. I thought we got away from that King of Swords, but you got the King of Cups here, so it must be the same person. See there? So this is their problem. Now I get it. Because this is somebody here who has hid their feelings, suppressed them, but they're coming back in as the King of Cups. So I see why, I see why they're overcoming themselves. Because I feel like someone has had a hard time expressing how they feel. Now, either they're expressing how they feel or they had other stuff going on in their life that interfered. So what's up with this Knight of Cups? This is somebody here who's looking for your love, Scorpio. Dealing the currency. That's what it is. See? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, Scorpio, you think you don't be making the impression. Of course you do. Come on now, Scorpio. We're talking about Scorpio. See? Knight of Cups, Page of Wands, King of Swords, Strength. Building that courage because they already know what time it is with Scorpio. See, Queen of Swords. So that they trying to overcome their fear. That's what it is. And I'm going to tell you based on these cards, and I don't care because I can't live nobody life. And these are general love readings, by the way. For somebody, this person really does want to be with you. Y'all in love with each other. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all just giving them a taste of their own medicine. You pulled your energy all the way back, but with this Queen of Cups showing up, you still in love. Or there's a possibility of it. It could have been all the times you... It's like somebody's seeing you differently, Scorpio. You go got the King of Swords, but somebody already know that they don't have that Queen of Cups in you anymore. They don't have that Queen of Cups in you anymore because... You got tired of dealing with this. Okay? This person probably was not open, opening up to you. You know you need that. But now, this same person is seeing your value. Because you got the Empress twice. Because you got the Queen of Cups, see? Well, let's start right here because it's, it's, it's flowing. It's confirming itself as we go. We started off with the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this is this person here. This, this, this is what they're seeing. This is what they're thinking when they see you, when they think about you. Righting the wrongs, making things balanced because it wasn't balanced. Of course it's not. You know it's going to be hard to be balanced with a king of swords and a queen of cups. But it's almost like somebody brought their habits into your life. And that wasn't fair because somebody know, somebody feels like in order to make things right again, somebody got to do something right because it wasn't fair. And this is what they're doing. Because somebody see the light. Somebody sees things clearly now with the sun card and they're anxious to get going. But if they don't rush in and come to you, it ain't because they don't love you and it ain't because they don't want you. It's because some of y'all had to go ahead on and show them the stinger side of Scorpio. And it's almost like they don't know what the heck to expect now. Yeah, they, they, they see that Queen of Swords in you when they used to have that Queen of Cups. And not only do they see the Queen of Swords in you, they still remember that Queen of Cups. That's what they want. But they see the Empress, too. And somebody's realizing you ain't got to settle for them. You don't have to settle for the toxic energy that they bring into your life. They were only special because you made them special. You chose to find something special in this old dog, King of Swords. Now, we know this King of Swords is a very, very intelligent person. They usually do communicate. But I feel like somebody has not been open with you. Now, it could be because of their own inner conflicts or just be because somebody here had other things going on. So let's see why it's the Ace of Pentacles here for Scorpios. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. See there? See what happens? If somebody's steady loving you and you're giving them the coldness, then what are they? Ain't nobody going to keep... Ooh, I feel like I'm finna sneeze. Wait a bit. Ain't nobody going to keep extending their cup just for you to act like it don't matter. They go to high priestess. So I feel like it's this person. Because the high priestess is in the upright. You got the nine of swords. It's this person here having to see things, Scorpio. And I, I look, it is what it is. I'm telling you, everybody has their day. Especially with this justice card. If you don't even have to worry about it. You can just go on with your life and live your life. And I feel like some of you guys are. But I also feel like some of y'all may still have feelings. Because you got the queen of cups. Queen of cups, king of cups. You could have been in love with them and they wasn't, they was fighting love and suppressing love. Now this person's coming back, Scorpio, and that's just what it is. They're coming back in love because that's all they've had time to do was to think about things from every perspective. And this person is tapped in spiritually. They're praying now to go to seven of pentacles here. 
This person feels like with this Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, they're looking at you. I'm telling you, they're looking at you like, you know what? Out of all the time that I have spent with Scorpio, Scorpio has held it down. I'm telling you. See, because there it is again. See, I'm telling you. But they did not do their part because they were afraid. And then it could, it could have been hiding the fear. See, someone could have just been hiding the fear, hiding, hiding it because they're off. They go to temperance cards. See, so they, they, they take in stock of everything because I'm telling you, that's what they're doing because they're observing you. The Queen of Cups, the Hierophant, that Three of Pentacles again. See, Queen of Cups, the Hierophant. So like I say, they do look at you like that. Like you do have morals. There is something unique about you. You see, three of pentacles. This is somebody here who has observed you and really do admire you. They just was not in a position at the time to give you what you needed or wanted. See, two of wands is the empress. That's who they see. Somebody has been really watching you and observing you. Everything, the way you talk, the way you carry yourself, the way you do this, the way you, everything, they see it all. And somebody's realizing that you deserve, but, but based on all the time that they put in with you, they may have not did the most for you, but I feel like this is why they're trying to come in and do it now. Somebody sees your worth. And I know that's kind of like a cliche at this point, but yeah, that, that's for real. Somebody finally sees your worth, but... Since they didn't pull that other side out of you, this is why they are afraid to come back. Because now that they want to give it all and build it all with you, they could possibly be rejected. Or they probably feel like, see, you probably don't even want it now. But look at them. See, there they go. There go your emperor. See, they coming. They go to world card. Now, you don't come. Don't come for me if you don't want your ex. That don't have nothing to do with that. Now, you know, you, you could say, um, say some of y'all want this person. You don't have to. You don't have to. Uh, you know, you could be truthful with yourself because I'm saying people can and do change. Scorpio has to change, too. Sometimes, don't they? Scorpio is constantly changing. And just because you hold on. <laughs> Just because you hold on to stuff like an elephant don't mean that you still have to penalize folks. <laughs> Let it go because you showing up as the empress. You got too much happiness around you. And there go that emperor showing up. See? So like I say, this is somebody here, Scorpio, who is determined not to go out looking like a jerk. They care. They actually care what you think about them. Believe it or not, they do. And based on all of this energy that you bring, which is very, very uplifting and nurturing and beautiful, they can't, he can't help, especially, God dang it, they can't help but to come back and do right by you. If they really want something good, that Empress again. Ace of Cups, there it is again. From who? That King of Cups. And I feel like it's the same King of Swords because the King of Swords coming in the Knight of Cups up against the Queen of Swords trying to pray and hope that somebody is praying for strength because they can't get over you. They're thinking about you. All right, why is the lovers here? Clarify the lovers. Could be a Gemini. See there, Scorpio. They're they, they not used to that other side. That other side don't play no games. That other side of Scorpio, see? That's the thing. See, they go to judgment. That's the thing about Scorpio. People get so lost in your Scorpio sauce that they think that you just gullible. That that's all you here to do is just to rain your love. And it don't matter how you get treated. It don't matter if you're not getting it back. You got enough for the whole world. <laughs> But God dang, it's somebody, it has to be replenished though. I know you can self-love yourself, but no, nah, it ain't supposed to be like that. That, that. That's why you got the justice card there because that's not fair. That's not a balanced relationship. All right, lovers, Gemini energy, soulmates, spiritual, physical, romantic attraction here. Uh, there, there, There's a lot of chemistry here. There's a lot of love. See, ooh, Ten of Cups, see? 
Somebody miss you, child. And that's all I can say. So if you think that somebody going on and living happily ever after, no, they they, they got to face the, the karma that they created because they created a bunch of mess. And now that they realizing, you know what, <laughs> I've been knowing Scorpio, I've been around Scorpio, I did this Scorpio and all this time I've been missing out on something. I have to make it up to Scorpio. Scorpio don't deserve this. See, I told you. Page of Swords. That's all they doing is keeping tabs on you. See there? And the more, the more they observe you and pay attention to everything that you bring to the table, the more this person is ascending and awakening and knowing that they did wrong and they're going to have to correct something because they're not going to get peace. That's this part of their karma too. You got judgment and justice. Got judgment and justice as well as the freaking will of fortune. So quite naturally, you came into somebody's life for a reason, okay? Once again, Scorpio is going to be, see, like I said, it ain't going to be well to them until they address this. So this is like somebody's ancestors is all on their back. There's somebody probably having back problems because they're trying to, I feel like somebody, is, it's affecting them physically. A spiritual connection is affecting them physically because when love comes, yeah, you better answer, you better answer. Don't let it slip away hey, too many times. Cause love may not ever come again. You better listen, yeah. Cause love gone away. You better listen. Cause love is gone away. Yeah, ex cross watcher. <laughs> You're not gonna find this everywhere. It's almost like spirit is really trying to show you, look, you're not seeing this right. You're not seeing what Scorpio is here for. That you, what you think Scorpio here for is not what it is. What I bring and see the reason why for some of y'all, your person is a emperor, but they have, they're off track. Okay. They don't know that because of their pre-existing contract with you that they're entitled to way much more success in their life. They can have it all, but they've only focused on one part of it that they feel secure with, and it's the material world. But you came into their life because they were imbalanced because spirit had somebody for you, Scorpio. And I know y'all don't want to hear, but I'm just telling you, you do with it what you choose. I'm just letting you know you came to this person for their highest good so that you can be higher so that you can elevate. This is your partnership right here. Like I say, them ancestors on this person, they're not going to have peace and they know it. That's why they're constantly watching you. But they're, they're afraid. Somebody is afraid because whatever you must have told them, it must have been true. And they have to deal with it. And they know the only way they can get back is to be real and honest. They go to chariot again with their five of swords. See, they want to move away from the obstacles that they created. Okay, they created them. All right, Ace of Cups. Why is this Ace of Cups here for Scorpios? Love overflowing. You have love overflowing. Look, you got more than that, baby. So you got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Cups, the Emperor and the Emperor. You got it going on. <laughs> y'all got it going on. I'm just saying, hold on, y'all. It'll blow my nose. Like I said, y'all got it going on, Scorpio. You really do. But some of y'all going to act out. Y'all going to act antsy with it. And y'all going to act antsy them right on at y'all life because they can't handle you rejecting them. They, because they have a soft spot for you, Scorpio. They do. Everything that you say or do, it matters to them. But they have a good way of hiding it. But they can't hide it anymore. They got to make the moves like everybody, see? And there they go. They say, oh, F it. <laughs> I'm going to have to get this love, spirit. You know I want this Scorpio love. But goddamn Scorpio love in, in, in the Queen of Swords now. If you bring the Queen of Cups Scorpio back, I swear I go, I go, I go. The Spirit say, no, nah, partner, because you, you, you planted different seeds. You planted the Queen of Swords seed. You were given the Queen of Cups, but you planted 
the Queen of Swords. So you got to deal with that Queen of Swords face to face. You remember just all in that King of Swords energy? Well, Scorpio ain't studying that Qu King of Cups energy because they don't trust that King of Swords energy until you prove them otherwise. So this is why they got to go above and beyond now. Yep. Yeah, they got to get out their comfort zone. I don't care how worried they is. They still got to do it if they want it. See? They done caused a lot of heartache and pain to you, Scorpio, and they are afraid to come back and ask for your forgiveness. See? Because they feel like you're going to reject them. But once again, Spirit is telling them, though, Scorpio, I don't know what Spirit is telling you. Only you know is that they can have some of y'all, Scorpios. They do have a new opportunity, but they got to they gotta, they gotta do something to get it. Uh, you don't just get to come back in and pick up because, first of all, Scorpio is the empress. Scorpio has evolved, he grown. There's a lot of growth around, but 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 there's a lot of growth around this relationship if y'all can handle it like real emperor and empresses do. Because for some of y'all, Scorpio, you say you was in love with this person, you still in love, but you're not being honest. But this person, they had a hard time acknowledging that they were in love, but now they're acknowledging it now. And just because everybody had their own demons to battle and dragons to slay, it didn't happen when you wanted to, but you probably wasn't in a good position to receive it anyway, Scorpio. You can't stay in no toxic relationship, but it just seems like you have to get all the bad stuff out of it so you can see what you really had. And now this is one of those situations where, once again, it's coming back around. All right, Ten of, ten of Pentacles. You got the ten, ten, honey. You got that emperor, that empress, that king and that queen of cups, that king and that queen of swords. So it's almost like somebody's going to have to take the high road, stay in your royal energy, stay on your throne. Don't be being no queen of swords towards this person here. And they go to high priestess here. Don't be. I feel like this person secretly wants to give it all to you because you got that empress. See, because you got that empress. With that King of Cups, and there go that Knight of Cups again. Ten of Pentacles, that's what they want. Come offer you everything. Somebody wants to offer you everything so that you can see that, yeah, I'm into you. Yeah, I made some mistakes. I, if you, you crazy if you think that I don't love you is what I'm hearing. See? But there's delays in this person's life because they're overthinking things because they are afraid. They overthinking things and they are afraid because they already know that if you see any weakness or any flaws or any lies, it's a wrap. But I do feel like some of you guys may be open for communication with this person. Maybe this is what you need to do. But regardless of them being afraid or not, somebody is coming, Scorpio. See, I feel like in the past somebody was taking their time or they wasn't offering much of anything. Three of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, but that's why you got the Ten of Pentacles over here. The Sun card, somebody had to change their perception. And this is what your King of Swords is doing. They had to change because they were the ones that was doing things wrong. See? Somebody's overcoming their challenges. See? Of being selfish, self-centered. Thinking that the world revolves around you. But like I say, this per person did not know that you was this gift to them. They had no idea because they probably didn't even love themselves. I feel like somebody didn't wasn't into that. And they go to Eight of Pentacles again. See? Somebody wants to get to know you. Someone wants to prove that they do love. Somebody wants to prove to you that you may call you may have called them outright on certain things, but somebody does not want to completely leave out your life with you thinking that they are the scum of this world. Or they say you got them messed up. Score. They say they may have not did everything right, but there's no way in the world that they don't love you. All right. <laughs> so this is your reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.